Um, I've done pulled out my JBDV 200N 7 CFM half horsepower motor, two stage vacuum pump here, and I got me some at uh, JB Black Gold up there at Johnstone. Um, while I was up at Johnstone, uh, my order came in, and I've got some uh, some new toys, some definitely great new gear that I that I purchased, and I want to share that with y'all once I get this oil changed. Uh, the reason I got her fired up is uh, I had several good buddies on here like Heavy Diesel John and a few of the other fellas tell me that I uh, need to get this vacuum pump oil uh, good and hot and that way it won't stick to the walls in here too so you can get, you know, try to you can get most of it out. So I'm going to let her run for a minute and then we'll drain the oil on her and then uh, I'll show you my, <laughs> my new tools. Alright, yep. let me change the oil. Huh? <laughs> yeah, you're my little helper, ain't you? All right, y'all, we got her uh, just about empty here. I'm going to tilt her up a little bit. Get my rag in there a little better. But uh, we should be ready to rock here in just a few minutes. Okay, y'all. Okay, y'all, what I like to do once I get it, you know, most of it drained out, what I think I, all is going to, you know, come dripping out. We've got a few drippies hanging out there. I'll uh, actually remove my cap. And I'll actually take and squirt just a little bit in there. Until it drains out a little bit. Might take a minute. There we go. So you're starting to drip a lot better. That should be new oil in there. Okay. Now I'll let that quit dripping and then I'll fill it up to my level line. But I'm going to have to back her up on the table and get, get my the vacuum pump good and level. And uh, like I said, if uh, if you underfill it, I mean, you can basically see your level line here. But if you underfill it, you'll hear it start chattering real bad. And if you overfill it or it's not level when you go to pull your vacuum, it'll shoot oil out the back. All right, y'all. Okay, y'all, we've uh, got her completely drained and we've got our uh, unit level. And uh, let's uh, go ahead and fill her up or fill her to the oil level line. She'll get away from you. <laughs> okay, y'all, we've got the uh, oil changed in our uh, JB uh, 7 CFM uh, vacuum pump with some new uh, fresh uh, vacuum pump oil, and we're right on the line. I did overfill it a little bit, but that was easy to remedy. Um, I got online, and I purchased uh, this, uh, this pistol pack, Flamboe outdoors uh, pack it's just a uh, you know like a little uh, box you can carry your uh, pistols around in but uh, it's uh, what I bought it for it's got this eggshell foam in it and I can keep my fragile HVAC tools in here stuff that uh, you know can easily be broken so uh, let's see what we got I actually went to Johnstone today <laughs> All right, y'all, uh, I don't know, uh, some of y'all are familiar with my digital vacuum gauge here, my Subco. Not the best, but all I can afford right now, eventually I will upgrade. Uh, I've got my Flowmaster here. This is for uh, trickling nitrogen in when you're brazing to uh, keep all that funk down in it. Fantastic tool. Thanks, John. I appreciate that, brother. Um, Mr. Zach, that'd be Talon on here. Um, that was one of the best vacuum videos that I've ever seen, and it drove me crazy till uh, Johnstone could get this in for me. <laughs> but uh, I've got it, man. So I want to step my vacuuming down to, uh, or step it up, should I say, to to the level that you're doing, and all my other good friends on here are doing. So uh, I got some of that. Got me this piece, this yellow jacket uh, uh, manifold T. Um, I couldn't afford the Appians right now, but like I said, you know, I'm kind of on a budget, but eventually I'll get those two. But I think these will work for now. These are the C and D uh, Schrader valve pullers, and I can actually hook my Micron gauge uh, directly to it. So, and then I can do my blank off test. You know, but I have to pull this piece out first. But anyway, um, I could afford the only Appian stuff I could afford though. 
Wapow! Check it out, guys. Appion vacuum rated refrigerant hose, half inch, six foot, three eighths by a quarter. So these will actually hook to here, and these will actually hook to my unit, quarter inch. So uh, let me uh, unbutton some of this stuff. Uh, while I've got my pump out, man, uh, Dallas has been on me for a while about getting some of this Nylog stuff, and uh, Tal and Zach was telling me about it also. Um, they both use it religiously. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm probably not going to be using these ports anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull them off. Even though they're brass to brass, I'm still going to pull them and Nylog them. I don't want any chance for any leaks. So let me get some of this buttoned up, and I'll show you what it looks like when... Uh, when uh, we're ready to pull a pull a vacuum, y'all. All right, man. Okay, y'all. Let's get this stuff apart here. Hope you can see it. Like I said, I probably won't be using these anymore, so I'm get them good and nylogged up. I've got that rubber uh, rubber bushing in here also, this brass to brass, so let's see if I can flow it on here like they do. Yeah, look at that snot. No, oh, that's the stuff. All right, y'all. Just a little love grip here. That should have it. Okay. I'll take this puppy. I'll take this one off too. And I've got the rubber grommet in there also, brass to brass. So Take this dude. Oh yeah, look at that. Ain't that something? Love it guys, love it. I'm going to have to get me more bottles of this. I thought it would be a pain in the butt, man, but it, it works great. Looks like we're going to have a little drippy, but that's okay. We can deal with that, too. Okay, what I want to do is uh, get me a cap for uh, this so I can remove this tea and this won't be getting any funk down in it, but for now I'll just cap it off like that I reckon. But anyway. Look at that stuff, man. That just goes on great. All right, y'all. Take this dude. Put him on down in there. Okay. I guess we'll do the same here, guys. Even though I'm not really gonna, I'm just gonna simulate, but what the heck. Yep, I'm gonna have to get this by the box full. 
think I really didn't use that much. Alright. So now we're going to take uh, Talon's toy. And we'll go ahead and get her hooked up here. Just a hair. Okay, she's good and tight, guys. Well, she was. All right. Check her out. Okay. Well. I can smell bacon clearly cooking in the house. Uh, she's hollering for me. Let me go eat, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, y'all, that was real good. <laughs> All right, let's get these caps off. I'm not even going to utilize this, but I'm going to nylog it. Um, I don't. I don't need a gauge on that one. I'm just going to let the subco be my gauge. This is going to eliminate all that stuff. can't get over how great that stuff flows man just the tiniest of turns good Take our 3 8 side of our vacuum certified refrigerant Appian Mega Flow hose here. Okay, let's get our other uh, Appian on here. Man, I can't wait to use this for the first time, I'm here to tell you. I would do it to my unit right now, but it's kind of warm out here. Or a little warm. I'm sure she don't want me shutting it down. But look at that. Look at that. Okay. Now, what we'll do is we'll utilize our C and D uh, Schrader valve removers. And basically what we do is, alright, you see the little Schrader valve doodah right there? We'll connect this to the unit screw it into the unit and then we'll take and we'll we'll unscrew that Schrader like so and we'll just pull her on out pull the Schrader out till it dead bottoms out here then you lock off your uh, lock off your uh, ball valve there same as for the liquid side we'll take it unscrew it bottom it out kill the Schrader or kill the ball valve here where it's we won't lose any refrigerant then what we do is we take these ends off and like Talon was saying we put these somewhere safe where we don't lose our Schraders so anyway so let's take our nylog like so and what's so great about these Appions is there's no other fittings. I w the other hoses, they were trying to uh, sell me half-inch hoses on each side, and then I had to uh, uh, reduce them down. But with this, this is like hooking directly to the unit. Okay. So we'll go ahead and remove this one. We've got our ball valve shut off. somewhere safe take our little nylog stuff 
Well, I'm going to use this on everything, guys. All right. And grab our other Appion. And thread that puppy on there. Okay, y'all, we uh, basically got everything hooked up. We've got our half-inch uh, Appion hoses hooked to our new Yellow Jacket T uh, manifold here. Uh, we've got everything isolated, okay? We're actually taking our Schrader valves out of our uh, high side of our unit. We're going to have these mounted to that. We're going to take the Schrader valves out of our low side, and that's where I'm going to run my, uh, my, my digital vac micron gauge here. And all we're going to do is open it up, open the vacuum up, uh, and have at it. Uh, she should draw that vacuum down uh, super quick now. So, uh, and then, of course, I'll be able to blank it off here. And like I said, once I can afford it, I'm going to get the, the real good hose for this micron gauge also. Um, I might have to have it immediately I'm, the, more I, <laughs> the more I keep thinking about it. So, But anyway, uh, just thought I'd share with that, that with y'all. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed it. All right, y'all. Take care.